It's Saturday, it's Dan and Jeff, and more importantly, it's half term! Mini celebration! Nine days of freedom, that's like forever. Yeah, absolutely, and what a way to kick off the half term of Horror Week than with those spooky goings on. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Blue, I Peter, love Blue Peter, but uh, it wasn't spooky. Well, no, 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 I meant it was spooky the way I was in it again. You know, me and Andy had a great time training so he could beat Usain Bolt's world record. No, 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 no. I was watching like a hawk. You you weren't there. You weren't so on Blue Peter. So mate. We trained all day. Did you not see me in the gym helping him to get ready? I was the one who got him ready for the race. Uh, no. Mate, I was right there with him the whole time. You weren't paying attention. Right, fine. Prove it. All right, I will, ye of little faith. Check it. <laughs> Oh, come back, boy. Go away, boy. Oh. So today I'm training? No, you can't finish it. What? Let's see what? Three runs outside. You're liars. Don't do this to me. Yeah, well, I've stopped. What the hell the... I... I was there. Uh, but I wasn't. I, I have literally no memory of doing that with Andy. Something weird is going on, Jeff. No, 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 it's not. No, I'm, I'm sure there's a perfectly rational explanation. It's weird, Jeff. Yeah, give me a minute. I'll tell you what it is. Uh, well, why don't we watch Basil Brush? Weird. There is nothing weird about Basil. No, not Basil Brush. What's happening here, Jeff? Mm. It's weird. Well, there is a lot weird about Basil Brush. I mean, he wears clothes and he talks, but he's a fox. Boom, boom. What does that mean? Right, I'm not going to lie to you guys, things have been a little bit weird in the CBBC the office this morning. Now I know it's half term of horror weeks on CBBC and we've got loads of spooky programmes coming up later, we've got Sarah Jane, we've got Trapped, but for now, let's do the most unspooky, amazing feature this world has ever seen. That's right, it's time for Paint Jeff. Dan, can we get on with it please? You know I've been stuck back here. No showmanship, that's your problem Jeff. Now, if you guys want to get involved, it's so very easy to do. All you've got to do is design one of your pictures on a piece of A4 paper like this and send it to us here at Paint Jeff, CBBC, PO Box 9989, London W12 6PA. Or now you can go to the CBBC website, Jefferson, thank you very much. Click on Paint Jeff, print out one of these, put your design on that and send it straight to us. It's that easy. Come on, get involved. But why don't we take a lovable, happy, non-spooky, nothing weird at all, romp through the Paint Jeff gallery. That's right. Which one did I put on Jeff's face this week? Was it from Charlie, age 10, no theme face Jeff? Look at this one. Nothing weird going on here. We've got hope and happiness and love and peace and it's wonderful and we'll ignore the skulls. Or was it from Chloe, age 10, bee face Jeff? Look at the happy bees there. See, they're buzzing around. They're really happy. Not a care in the world. Nothing weird going on there. Or finally, was it Hannah who sent in rainbow face Jeff? Look at the smiley rainbows. Again, nothing weird. And that was a completely happy, non-weird romp through the Paint Jeff gallery. Oh, no. Dan, what's going on out there, Dan? Sounds like something interesting's happening. I want to know what's happening, Dan. Oh, uh, nothing, mate. No, no, it's all normal. Everything is completely and perfectly weird. That's a bit odd. <laughs> Turn up for the books. <laughs> nice to know someone cares that there's the lights again. Who cares? I don't care. What's going on? Dan! Dan! And we're back to normal and oh! Everything's back. Peachy. Okay, well, let's reveal what we've got on Jeff's face without further ado. It was, of course, from Hannah. It was Rainbow Face Jeff. Come and show us, Jeff. Yay, look at that. Brilliant. Woohoo. Dan, what's been going on? No, nothing, mate. It's been great. Absolutely normal. Good, um, good. Here's some Sarah Jane adventures coming up. Uh, Rani's going to have some weird going on in um, a fairground, but nothing weird happening here. I'm just going to take a normal lie down now. Well, that's unprofessional. 
Hello there, I'm Jeff. He's Dan. Howdy, nice to see you all. Yeah, we've just dropped by to say come on over to the CBBC channel right now where we've got loads of cracking jokes. Like Sarah Jane Adventures, Trapped and Horrible Histories. Yeah, it's going to be a good one, don't miss it. Check it. Why do you keep saying that? My catchphrase, my oh, gimmick. No. This is no ordinary sofa. This is the sofa of scariness. And all this week, no living room is safe. Things are going to get seriously scary around here. What? It can't be that serious. It's something real and exciting. Do I get a front row seat? It's better if you don't ask. Why can't we? Sit down on your sofa of scariness this half term of horror, if you dare. All this week on the CBBC channel. Turn the pod all this week. Wow, what a Sarah Jane adventure. I mean, seriously, if there is a better way to spend a Saturday gripping the edge of your sofa, then I don't know what it is. Honestly, it was absolutely fantastic. I Unbelievable, could... boy! Put a bell around my neck and call me Mr. Tinkles. What kind of two-bit operation are you trying to run here? Oh, good. It's Randy T. Richburger, the richest man in the world, probably wanting to buy my face as painted by Hannah. Your face, boy? I don't want to buy your stinking face. I'm in a Randy rage. Look at me. I'm a hopping mad boy. Look at that. Look at the way I hop. There goes my chicken, boy. Uh, uh, calm, calm, calm it. Calm it. What's the matter? I'll tell you what's the matter, boy. I had to get in my stretch limousine and drive it like this with the horn that plays Yankee Doodle Dandy and come down here and tell you why you have to go and stop Sarah Jane on a cliffhanger, boy. I need to know what happens to Ronnie. I need to know who Eve is. I need to know that Sarah Jane's going to be okay. Is that it? Don't it's back to back Sarah Jane. The next one's on in, I don't know, just under two minutes. Two minutes, boy! Two minutes! Well, that's just fine and dandy, boy. Oh, so... I suppose we'll just, um, wait. We'll wait. Uh... Oh, oh. Nice, um, nice gloves. Love. What do you want to go and say things like that? No, 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 I didn't. I said gloves. Nice gloves. I once knew love, boy. Back when I was a young boy, boy. And I used to travel through time and space itself with a man called the Doctor. What? That's right! I used to be the Doctor's feisty yet beautiful assistant. And we traveled around in a tiny little blue box that we called... The TARDIS. No, Randy's Box of Dreams and Joy, or Steve for short. You have never been Doctor Who's assistant. I was his assistant, boy. And we used to power that boat with the hula dance. You want to see a man hula? Let's do this. Hit it! Here's Sarah Jane. Look at this. Why are you still here? Go and watch Sarah Jane. It's better than this. Um, hello? Jeff? Jeff, I'm ready. Jeff? Hello? Look, I've got things hilariously wrong again, Jeff. I'm dressed as a caretaker in a lift. Do you not want to know why, Jeff? Jeff! Oh, hello, Jeff. What are you doing here? I don't know. I was in the News Square studio a minute ago, about to read the news, and then there was this whoosh noise, and I suddenly ended up here, wherever this is. We're quite literally in a lift. What? That's right, Jeff. I dressed as a caretaker and got myself trapped in this lift, just like you asked. No, 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 no. I asked you to interview the caretaker from Trapped. Oh! Oh, no! Ha, <laughs> ha! I've got it hilariously wrong again! <laughs> what a character I am. Dan, never mind what a character you are. You're not more worried about how you were on your own, trapped in this lift a minute ago, and now, all of a sudden, I've appeared and I'm with you and we don't know how and uh, what's going on. Looks like half time of horror is becoming frighteningly real. I mean, I guess it could be spooky. This lift is going down forever! What? What's going on? That's so much planned, Jeff. I was going to show you the broom, and I've got keys. I don't know what they open. Oh, and polish. I had a great joke about polish. Dan, Dan, I don't care about your janitorial props. You need to get out of here. Don't worry, Jeff. I have a plan. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, who are you going to get to free us? Quite literally, you. What? That's right, Jeff. At the end of News Square, I'm going to tell you which lift I'm in, and then you're going to come and rescue me, you hero. Do you, um, do you not see a problem with that plan? No! How about now? 
No. Now. No. Now. Yes. What's the problem? You're here with me. Yeah, well, while we're trapped, I guess we might as well watch Trapped. Mind the doors. Let's go to the bistro on 4, Jeff. Come on. 